Welcome everyone to Jacksonville, Florida, a city on the Atlantic, the St. John's flowing through. Today, it is the home of our first stop on the 2022 Street League Skateboarding Championship Tour. We are here at the ViStar Veterans Memorial Arena and the skateboarding is heating up. I'm your host, Andrew Cannon, joined by Jeff Rowley and Sean Malto. Jeff, how are you feeling today? I feel great today, Andrew. I am so fired up to see some rip-roaring skateboarding. We've got a brand new obstacle, brand new course out there today. I'm looking forward to seeing Nigel Houston in his zone. You know, it's a, it's a big course, a lot of bigger rails, a lot of bigger gap to rails, which Nigel really excels on, makes him feel confident and comfortable. And he's had the last year to look at a load of new faces, a load of new tricks coming into SLS, and that, beats Niger. He likes that. And yesterday the crowd has gone absolutely wild for him in qualifiers. So I'm thinking that we have a great ingredients for a Niger Houston win today. Now you said new faces, new tricks. We've got to talk about Sora Shirai. Qualified in this year through the qualifier. Yes, yeah, Sora, he's our qualifier this year. He's definitely excited to be in the finals. He's ripping so hard and he's doing tricks that we've never seen done before. So he's going to give Niger a lot of different looks today. Well, now that we know the players to look out for, let's find out how it breaks down in the basics brought to you by Tech Deck. We've got the line section. It's two 45 second line attempts. Then we go into our single trick section. That's four single tricks anywhere on the course. We take the top line score and the top two single trick scores, put those together, and that is how we come up with our top four. The bottom four are gonna get eliminated and the top four are gonna have two more attempts at victory. And these are our finalists right here. Coming out of Japan, 20 years old, Sora Shirai. Next up, we have Vincent Milou, 25 years old, representing France, bringing a new bag of tricks and a new style to SLS. From Chandler, Arizona, 25 years old, we've got Deshaun Jordan. Next we have Gustavo Ribeiro, 21 years old, absolute contender, one to watch out for today. From Portugal. Thirty-one years old from Brazil, one of the most technical skaters in the contest, Felipe Gustavo. And next, if you want to talk about technical, this is the most technically progressive skateboarder in the world, Shane O'Neill, thirty-two years old from Australia. An Olympic gold medalist, 23 years old, from Japan. We are excited to see him back in SLS, Yuto Horigomi. And last but certainly not least, the guy to beat, Nigel Houston, 27 years old, from Laguna Beach, California. Crowd has gone wild from here today. That is a stacked final, if I've ever seen one. Check in with Alex White down there. What's the mood on the course, Alex? Hey guys, I talked to Shane O'Neill, who says he's laser focused on getting into that super final. It's all or nothing now. Similar sentiment from Felipe Gustavo. Felipe's battling a knee injury, and he tells me I'll deal with the pain tomorrow. It's gonna be a heavy final. <laughs> I love that. I'll deal with the pain tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Sean, ha have you ever dealt with that in competition? I mean, we're skateboarders. We deal with pain always. So I think Felipe can work through this and, uh, you know, give, give Nigel, give everybody a run for their money. Well, speaking of giving a run for the money, Sora Shirai is going to be kicking off the line section. Sora bringing some brand new tricks to the competition. I'm excited to see what happens in the next 45 seconds. Oh, wow, starts up with a gnarly sugar cane with a head high drop out of the end of that. Very first trick, way to set it up. Nice How risky Smith. is it? That, see, that, that's these new tricks that are coming in that no one's ever seen before. Front side 180 to switch backside nose grind, so hard to do. 
What's notable about that, he's doing it on the first run today. Yesterday, that was his step up. Yeah, this is the finals. You really, really have to go all or nothing here. We've got five seconds. This is going to be right on the bubble. Caballero back set, tails left. Oh. Beautiful. It looked like he went all out on run number one. This is the finals. You, it, get all, he'll go home. All right, here's another look at the visible replay. Jeff, talk us through the sugar cane. Oh my God, look at how you have to twist your hips around to lock in, and then with that head high drop, there's that nice 360 flip. Sets himself up with a clean backside Smith. That's a beautiful visible replay. And this is the trick we saw him do in the best trick yesterday and just ending his line on a cab back tail. Getting in the inside of that bigger rail with the crossbar is so sketchy. And at 9.1, we are starting the finals off with a nine. New guy Whoa. bringing the heat. Sending a message to all the other competitors out there. I may have qualified in an eighth, but I'm coming for the win. <laughs> Next skater in, Vincent Malou. <laughs> the look on his face, like, okay. What do we expect to see from Vincent? Vincent's a powerful skater. <laughs> Definitely pulled that one out of nowhere. But his bag of tricks is uh, getting away from a little bit. His bag of tricks is different than everybody else's as well. So I think the judges like see a little bit of creativity from Vincent and he definitely usually shows he's just having a little trouble on this first run. Yeah, got some nice combos, but he's looking like he's gonna have to repeat this line and Oh, there's that front side heel flip that we all love. Cool different tricks like that that sent Vincent apart. Oh, so close right there. That's time for Vincent Malou on run number one. He's got some work to do on the next one. I mean, if he can tighten this up, right? He's got some heavy tricks starting off with that over the top switch nose grind right over the back of the rail. If he can get that last final trick in, he's going to get a great first line score, but he had a couple of falls. There's that trying to go into the switch backside Smith, but it went into a switch backside lip slide and even hit the other truck. No idea how he rolled away from that. And then there's that front side heel flip, and a trick we don't often see, especially in contests. It's floating away from you, very difficult to keep it and be consistent with. 4.0 right there. He's going to look to that next run. I mean, that's a huge gap between Sora and Vincent, next skater in. In the prelims, Deshaun Jordan had a nine in the line score. Can he do it again here in the finals? Nice back set over Crook. Clean pop 360 flip into a nose blunt slide. The thing with Deshaun is he does a lot of his tricks with, with power, you know? It's never kind of, it's always full speed. Lots of spinning, like that front side 360 lift. Nice backside Smith. Oh, 10 seconds. To do a laser heel flip in the middle of your run is just something else. He's going to have to hustle to get this in. It's going to be right on the buzzer. Cap backside lift. Oh, what went wrong there, Sean? You know, I think he was just rushing into that a little too much. And yeah, he locked in perfect, but his body weight got ahead of him a little bit and just wheel bit. That was a slow-mo, that front side 360 lip slide. Deshaun arguably has certainly the most consistent one of them that we've ever seen. Nice backside Smith grind. Heavy first start for Deshaun. He's just going to have to hustle it up to get that final trick in. There's that laser heel flip. A lot of room for bailing and sketching out on that one. So close to putting it all down. Scores in 7.0. Next up, Gustavo Ribeiro. We've got to carry him a fun fact. If he wasn't going to be a pro skater, he'd be a chef. Well, right now he's got to cook up a nine if he has any chance of winning this. 
Starting off with a very focused Nolly frontside board into the backside Smith. Gustavo has had a lot of experience in contest. Kind of a traditionally trained contest skater. He's also won a lot of contests, so he knows how it feels. That tray flip, oh, nice one slide. He away with it. Now that'll definitely affect his score, how sketchy he was there. Nice 360 flip. Over the top, backside, no, uh, frontside nose blunt slide. Excellent start. You know what, he popped that one after the buzzer, so it's not gonna count against him. Sean, talk us through these replays here. I want to know more about that two-trick combo that we just saw. Yeah, you know, the part, part kind of flows three tiers down. So going back up the other way, you just lose a lot of speed. So doing that kickflip to back on your nose grind is definitely a good combo. And then this one, the kickflip front board, and then the tray flip nose blunt on that fat square rail. So hard to get the right lock in. He pulled it off, but kind of scrubbed some speed off the side of the course. Wow, 6.7, man, that was some difficult tricks, but they want to see them done really well. We've got great judges here. They know their stuff. Next skater in, Felipe Gustavo. Sean, what can we look for with Felipe? Felipe is definitely a technical skater, really good at flipping his board, but over the years has been able to take that into the bigger rails as well. Oh. That might be the first frontside flip he's ever missed. That's very uncharacteristic. Could that be from the knee injury, the nerves? Uh, probably a little bit of both. Setting himself up for the hover. Going for that switch flip backside tail side. He's going to have to improve upon that on the second line attempt. This, this one's going to be a little bit of a wash for Felipe. He knows it too. Well, the level's so high, you mess up, you sketch out, you know you're not gonna, you need to improve upon that. Felipe is gonna look to that next line. Now, these next three skaters, these are the top three qualifying in to our finals. Shane O'Neill, Jeff, you were talking most technical skater in the world. Absolutely, I mean, you've only got to follow him on Instagram or social media to see that. Like, almost constantly he's coming out with tricks no one's done before, no one's even thought about. It's a very creative skater, but also can back it up with the technical ability to make those different moves. That's a trick we don't see him bailing on that crooked grind and nollie kickflip. But yes, the most technical skateboarder alive today. What do you think that does right there mentally for Shane? It's so hard to gather yourself after you fall, especially on a trick that he's very consistent at. Right now, all he's thinking is just try to get some sort of score on the board. Nice switch 360 kick flip. Even though we had that one fall in there, Shane did a good job of cleaning it up. Now, one of the things from talking with Shane always, he is so candid and very black and white about this. He's very, you got to make your tricks or it's not going to count. So to see him go for it right there shows this new format really does make a difference. Yeah, and I think the fact that you have to really rely on your line section score, it plays into Shane's strengths. I mean, we know how consistent he is and with tricks, Combos like this with that switch big spin. It's so easy on the eyes and he does everything so smooth that it's just hard to follow that up. There's nobody that skates like Shane O'Neill. 6.9. You know, you look at look at some of those scores right there. 7, 6.9, 6.7. It's kind of in that same zone. But Yuto Horigomi, Nigel Houston still to go on line number one. Yuto on course. Oh. oh, what is going on here with this second trick business? 
Well, he's going to have to hustle it now. He wants to up that score. And all the cab from Ford. Switch from Ford. Molly 180 switch crook, setting himself up with nice combination of the switch backside lip slide. Molly the backside nose one slide. Putting together a bunch of good tricks, but still a little bit shaky. Oh! Says no right there. Yeah, he. Uh, he kind of tried to whip around the corner a little too fast and power slid out on the roll-in. Definitely don't want to risk it going at the big rail. A little wobbly. But still put together some good tricks. That's Nolly 180 switch crook and that switch backside lip slide that you see right there. But I feel like he's going to really have to bring a little more than that. Look at that, 6.3. So right now, Sora way out front, but we've still got Nigel Houston left to go. Six SLS World Championships. Oh, wow, comes straight in with the cab, backside lip into the half cab, crooked grind. Molly heel set up into Nolly Crook. Oh! That was an interesting route to go in his line. Yeah, I really liked it because I haven't seen anybody take that route yet. But that little bar catching that switch heel on him. Oh, well, we know he can do much better than that, and he is going to really have to bring it home on this next line. That's going to put some pressure on Nija, but let's not sugarcoat it. I mean, this man loves pressure. He performs so well under it. Yeah, but Andrew, pressure on the line section versus pressure on a single trick, different thing. He has to make 10, 20 tricks in the next line. That's a lot of pressure. Score in 5.5. Nigel Houston down in sixth place right now. But we've seen this in the past. We have seen this in the past. What do you think is going to happen, Sean? We've seen it in the past, but we've also haven't seen Sora in this position before. So, you know, Sora definitely putting up a nine, kind of got everyone a little shook. Um, but but Nigel, he, he definitely comes through under pressure. This is the Road to the Super Crown presented by Smirnoff Ice Smash. So we've got four stops total this year. Jacksonville, Seattle, Las Vegas, and Rio. The first three stops, we are gonna take the cumulative tour points and the top four are gonna qualify straight into the Super Crown World Championship down in Rio de Janeiro. The rest of the field is gonna come down and they're all going to be fighting for those bottom four spots to join those four pre-qualified skaters. We'll be back in just a moment with our next line. Stick around, things are gonna to continue to heat up. Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by A-Shock, a modern performance energy drink created for today's active generation. By Visible Mobile, single line unlimited wireless powered by Verizon. By Karyuma, ethics meet performance. By Tech Deck, start small, go big. And by Skater XL, the most precise board control ever in a skateboarding game. Available now on PC and consoles. Welcome back everyone to Jacksonville. A look at Sora Shirai, your current leader. That cab back tail that he ended his first line with. Currently a commanding lead over to Sean Jordan, a full 2.1 points ahead. Now this is the G-Shock time capsule, taking a look back at the 2022 Championship Tour qualifier, where Sora earned his way in to the Street League Championship Tour this year. Yeah, we've seen a lot of new faces, a lot of new tricks, some heavy progression out there at the qualifier. Not everybody that made it into the SLS event, but they certainly stepped it up and showed all of the current SLS pros what's coming next. 
There are a lot of skateboarders knocking at the door, trying to make their way in. Absolutely, with heavy tricks like that one right there, nose blimp slide, nollie kick flip. A lot of new faces from all over the world. Nice nollie big spin to backside tail side and crazy tricks like that. Nollie back to an 80 to switch front side feeble. We've never seen that before. Yeah, the level of skateboarding that is going down right now just for a shot to compete here. Truly amazing. What do you think about that, Sean? Yeah, you know, as someone that has been in this contest for a long time, this last chance qualifier definitely threw shockwaves into the contest world. To see, to see Sora do those types of tricks in a contest was ridiculous. All right, let's check in with Alex White who's got some info on Sora. What's going on, Alex? Well, yeah, just like what Sean said, Manny was saying behind me, sometimes when a skater drops a huge score like that, it does send like a shockwave through the rest of the field. And so you saw everybody bailing on tricks that they normally have dialed. It was a really interesting exchange to watch. Absolutely. It is, I mean, there's a palpable energy down there. All right, Sora Shirai dropping in for line number two. Oh, that is the heaviest first trick that we're seeing in any, from any of the guys in the line section right there. Starts it off with a brutal sugar cane, nice 360 flip, backside 50. Yeah, I think Sora can see that he has a chance here, big time. Nice switch, tail 270. Now he's losing a little bit of speed here and there, not necessarily doing his tricks super fast, but he's making them. Whoa, stepping it up. Now he missed that back Smith on the first run, went back 50. Is he going to be able to get this in in time? This is gonna be right, oh! He does. What do you think that does to his score right there, Sean? You know, he missed the back Smith, did a back 50, but the big spin heel flip and the switch tail 270, this definitely has to be a step up. Here's the visible replay on that sugar cane. Beautifully done. That trick, trying to explain how difficult it is on a rail, it's mind blowing. Yeah, Sora's got a bag of tricks that nobody else has, really awkward tricks. There's that nice switch tail slide, 270 out. Nice visible replay. And then there's that trick we didn't see coming. Steps it up from the front side big spin with the big front side big spin heel flip. And at 9.2, the judge is giving him a little bit of a boost right there. I mean, this is amazing skating right now. Two nine. Well, we said it. If Sora comes here and brings tricks like that and brings tricks, you said it, Sean. Tell us about it. You yeah. said it. If he brings those tricks, this it's, could happen. It's the tricks that no one really sees. No one's really seen this in a contest before and you know, he's definitely getting rewarded for it and it's making people have to step their game up. Well, next up we have Vincent Milou. Really needs to do a better job than that 4.0. Starts it off with a banging trick over the back of the rail switch. Nose grind into that switch backside lip slide. That's a great start to the line. If you can keep that up and stay on his board, that's what we need to see. Beautiful 360 flip. Long back Smith on the bump to bar. Half cap back, side nose grind. Back tail, he kind of capped out almost to the flat of that kink rail. Oh, <laughs> sketchy McSketch right there. Front side heel flip to Keep them rolling. To a contest make. Now this is gonna be right, this will count front side. Oh! Now that's what we needed to see from Vincent. If he'd have made that final trick and got it in, he'd have, he'd have improved greatly from that line score. That's gonna really hurt him now. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard for him to get into that top four, not having a solid run score up there, but he does have really good single tricks. Yeah, he had some really awesome combinations like this first one right here over the back. Switch nose grind into a nice switch backside lip slide. And then here's that sketchy frontside heel flip that he just gets, almost lands primo. One toe drag, 
Little bit of sketch on the out, but he kept rolling, kept moving, kept the rhythm. It's about staying on the board. Hey, it's an improvement over the last one. A full 2.8, so a 6.8 is going to be the highest score that Vincent's going to get in the line section. Next in, Deshaun Jordan, currently sitting on a 7. Needs a 9.3 to get into first. That's a huge score. He can do it, though. If he gets all of his tricks in, you know, all of the bigger tricks, we know that he's really consistent in. That's he what we need to yesterday. see. That's what I'm saying. We know he has it in him. He's won SLS before. There's that 270 lit. Got a beautiful frontside 360. Sean, one of the most controlled rotations that we've ever seen. Oh, lays off. Oh. <laughs> Little bit of sketch on the way he had his head, but the trick was made cleanly. Five seconds. Now this is going to be really tight. And it will and it count. Does it. And it will count. Yes. And look at that hustle. Deshaun Jordan goes in. Kept excellent speed throughout the whole of that line, too. There's that setup 360 kickflip. Already focused on the second trick, and then there's that final trick right on the buzzer. Cap back lip. That's going to post up a great score for Deshaun. Sean, how important is that last trick? I mean, especially since he's ending it on the big section. I mean, look, he got 9.0 for his run. You know, that's the biggest trick in his line, so he definitely needed to land that. That's a great score for Deshaun. Nine even, 0.2 behind Sora. That's going to put him in a good position as we head into the single tricks. This is really a putting heat on guys like Shane O'Neill, right? Niger, guys that are used to being in pole position. Absolutely. I mean, you know, is it a changing of the guard? Next in, Gustavo Ribeiro. Currently sitting on a 6.7. Kick flip. Backside 180 nose grind. Gustavo deals with the pressure easily. He never seems to be shaken by anything like that. Nice kick flip front side forward side. And he has the level of gnarly tricks and technical Whoa! tricks like that. Laser flip front side board slide through the kinker in the middle of your run, in your line section. He is ripping right now. Nose blunt slide. This is probably going to be the last trick in here. Nice front side feeble. This will count here. Crooked grind, right. another kick. And he does it! All right, Sean. Where do you think that one's going to land? That, I mean, that has to get him really close to the top. He had pretty much everything. Big section, technical tricks. This kickflip front board, the big rail and then straight into this tray flip front board. And the, the crazy thing is you land right at the base of that kink. So you have to be so precise and you definitely push through it. And one thing we see with the judging, they want to be surprised and delighted. Definitely did both of those in this run. Wow. What is it going to be? Oh, no. oh, no. A 9.1! For Gustavo Ribeiro. So deserved. Ooh, look at that. I know, that's why I tried to tell you guys. I'm sorry. We're going to break again. We have three skaters with nines right now, and Nigel Houston down in seventh place, but stick around because he's coming up shortly for his second run. The progression of skating is just evolving so quickly right now. And I think that the level it's getting at, guys are realizing like, well, the stuff we're doing is requiring like a lot from us physically. Like, and I think collectively as skaters, we're starting to realize like, 
we are athletes. We're kind of embracing ourselves finally as athletes, whereas before it was like, we always like fought against that. Nah, I'm a skater, I'm not an athlete, you know, but like, it takes athleticism to do what we're doing. You have to take care of yourself. You have to treat yourself like an athlete or you're not gonna last very long. So that's what I love about being part of A-Shock is like A-Shock's exactly the same in the energy category where it's like they're evolving the energy category with all like natural ingredients and, and, and cleaner ingredients so that you can actually have that energy boost that you want, but it's a sustainable energy boost. It's a healthy energy boost. Sometimes you would have beverages like they would taste good, but in order to get a good taste, you have to sacrifice good ingredients and have terrible ingredients to get that flavor. And now there's no sacrifice here with that. It's like you have really good, healthy ingredients, great flavor, and you get that boost you want. It's just cool with being with A-Shop well, one, not just like, hey, I got a new sponsor, but like I'm a partner in the brand, you know, I have ownership in the brand. I came in backing it, I believe in it, I'm, I put myself invested with it, you know. Half the time, you're dealing with an agency, not even actually with the people of the brand, but I'm here, you know, I'm here with Scott right here next to me, like, I'm here talking to the founder, you know, the owner, so it's like, I come in the office, we can work out in the back here, I can throw out ideas if I have ideas, you know, and just really be involved with how to market myself and how can I be more involved with the marketing of the brand in general. So it's really cool because I feel like there's that core kind of relationship, but it's like a big brand. So it's a, it's a really cool blend. I love that. Paul Rodriguez, basically skateboarding's mayor, trying to look out for all the athletes. This is the A-Shock Lounge for all the athletes to get tuned up and feel good out there. Taking a look at what the other professional sports are doing, he was like, hey, we need to bring this to Street League. So we talked with A-Shock and they made it happen. Thanks so much for doing that, Paul. And now we are back. This is the finals. Right now, Felipe Gustavo gearing up for line number two. He's currently down in eighth place. He needs to put a great score on the board. If you are just tuning in, we have three nines on the board. So things are getting saucy. Nice frontside kick flip. He's got one of the tightest flicks that we see in skating. Really precise skateboarder. Excellent balance and form. Nice backside nose blunt slide. Oh yeah, switch backside tail slide. Switch frontside kick flip, put them together nicely. I love how he mirrors it. Frontside flip one way, switch frontside flip the other way. Always makes for nice rhythm. Yeah. Always easy on the eyes when it's a good flow like that. It's, if, you, if you get your tricks well, it's a good way to keep your speed and still get that level of trick in there, right? That, those combos, that gnarly crooked grind, that was gnarly. Last trick at the buzzer. Oh man, it's so nice to see Felipe have trouble on that first one, come back and nail it. It's that cleanly popped nolly kick flip, lands bolts. And then that last trick, as you say, right on the buzzer, nolly kick flip, crooked grind. It doesn't get much smoother than that for foot placement. Yeah, skating that gap to rail nolly too is definitely a little tricky just because it's hard to see where you pop. Look at that score, 8.9. The judge is rewarding him. He put it all out there. Shane O'Neill, next skater in, currently down in fifth place. Everyone wants to get in that top four. Oh, that nolly heel back lift, that one dips so nice. How risky is it to do something like that in the beginning, Sean? So risky, especially for the first trick. <laughs> and then back it up with a crook nolly flip. Classic Shane O'Neill back big spin. Nice big spin, front side board slide into switch big spin. Oh! No! Wheel bite! Right when he landed there, he leaned forward just too quick. That's gonna hurt him. 
And that ate some of the time, unable to get the Switch 360 flip. But you know what? There's potential for that to be an improvement over that 6.9 that we saw in the first run. Yeah, absolutely. It was definitely a more of a solid run on the second one. Still not exactly what he was looking for, but he did get the crook nollie flip after this 5-0, and that's going to help us score. And he was sitting pretty sweet right to the end there, till that wheel bite. Made all his tricks clean and smooth. So I think that's going to be an improvement, I would say. Yep, 7.5. The judges rewarding him, moving up into, they're like staying in fifth place right now. But you know what? That's going to be some points up there, and he needed those. All right, next in, Yuto Horigomi down in seventh place right now. Yes. Stomp 360 kick flip. He was not going to let that one get away from him. There's that nolly cab switch from board. Sean, what's the difference between run line number one and line number two from like a nerves perspective? <laughs> well, it all depends on how that first run goes. If you don't have a good first run, the pressure is so much on that second run. Yuto's definitely flowing through this nicely, though. This is going to be his final trick, setting himself up for the big section. There you go. Wow. Nolly backside 360. The board slide. Now, we saw all the tricks that we see him doing, all the spinning and that. How does that one weigh up, then? Yeah, it all looks really easy for him just because his style is like that. But these tricks are so hard. Turning Nolly backside like this, he's completely blinded to the rail until it gets around. So you really pop and hope. And he's just done it so much, he's so confident with that trick. I can't wait to see where the judges go. 9.1! We have four nines right now! In the line section, lots of nines in the line. That's heavy. Oh, man. And we still have one skater left to go. And we know if he can put it down, is fully capable. Talk about pressure <laughs> and heat on you and everybody looking at you. Look at that smile. He loves it. Nigel Houston on course for line number two. Starts it out for that cap. Back lip and the half cap crooked grind. Just the way he stomps the board down after that half cap crook. Nice nolly heel flip. Now this is where he went wrong last time. Let's see if he can improve upon that. Boom, switch heel. And boom, switch front side kick flip. That right there is the level that he needs. He just has to stay on. He's got 15 seconds. Backside 180 nose grind. He's gearing himself up for the big section. What's it going to be to end it? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Kick flip front board on the gap to rail to end his line. We saw that yesterday as a single. He's the most prolific winner in SLS history for, for that reason. Being able to, at that moment, step it up. What are the judges going to think about this? Look and, at this. And this is where he cleaned it up from the first line, where he bailed that, didn't quite get the right speed, fixed it on the second one, and gets a beautiful switch frontside kick flip. That's the Niger Houston that we need to see. That's the Niger Houston that comes out of nowhere when all the pressure's on him to take it. What That's I want to know. Score. What is what is coming in the single tricks after seeing that at the end of the line? This is this has to be a nine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is this the highest run, Sean? I, it, I mean, a nine point one. We have five nines as we head into the single tricks. Way to handle that heat, Nigel. Way to handle that. Definitely understood the assignment on that one. <laughs> this is the most progressive skateboarding we have seen in a finals yet. The level is truly unbelievable with five nines right now. Sora Shirai in the lead. 
Gustavo Ribeiro, Yuto Horigomi, Nyjah Houston, and Deshaun Jordan. This is some of the most incredible skateboarding we've ever seen. And we are only two lines in. Do not go anywhere because we have our single trick still yet to come. Welcome back, everyone, to the ViStar Veterans Memorial Arena. This is stop number one of the 2022 Street League Skateboarding Championship Tour. There's a look at your current leader, Sora Shirai, who has been absolutely destroying today. This is the Skater XL highest scoring line with a 9.2, that's his second line. Jeff, talk us through this one. Oh, I mean, it had a little bit of everything, right? Good combinations, very technical tricks, some spinning and ripping trips, like that switch tail slide 360. Had a little bit of everything. That's why it was scored so high. Sora Shirai putting it down out here today. Now, the way this works, after the lines, we re-rack them in according to the order. So Vincent Malou is going to kick things off. Shane O'Neill, Felipe Gustavo, Deshaun Jordan, Nyjah Houston, Yuto Horigomi, Gustavo Ribeiro, and Sora Shirai. Now I want to make sure if you're just tuning in, we had five nines in the runs. It was unbelievable. This is the basics brought to you by Tech Deck. We've got our line section. We just saw that it was two 45 second line attempts. Now we are going into the single trick section. It's four single trick attempts. We're taking that top line score and then the top two single trick scores. From there, we're gonna drop the bottom four skaters and the top four are gonna move on with two more attempts. That is how we will crown a winner here today. But like we said, we had five nines in the line section, which is unbelievable. And it is so important to get those high line scores today because one of those lines counts and two of the single tricks. Oh! Vincent Malou. Well, that's the first person aside from Nigel that we've seen flip across that gap. That's huge. And to come out fakey too, right? On such a long rail, you can see good six foot gap. Kind of goes down to easy to break his board and then comes out fakey. The fact that he came out fakey also on that, the judges will like to see that because going long and far, a lot easier to rip Whoa. out forward. And he pulls it backwards. That's a classic Vincent Milou trick right there. 8.6, Vincent Malou. All right, we're gonna see a lot of shuffling on the leaderboard. Once we get three scores on the board, things are gonna change. Shane O'Neill now in. Oh, beautiful thing right there. He does that trick so well. Important note, Shane only got a 7.5 for his line, so he has a bit of a disadvantage right now. Well, putting that solid score down right here is gonna help, and especially help that confidence going on to these final single tricks. Very tightly done, Nolly backside heel flip, ran out of street course there. 8.5, well played for Shane. It's a solid start for him. Bumped up into the top spot with a 16. Felipe Gustavo dropping in for his first attempt. Doesn't quite get the flick he's looking for, going for the switch flip. It looked like to switch flip backside tail maybe, but. Yeah, popping out to that gap to rail. It's hard to pick a spot when the rail gaps out to where to lock in and how to do it. So definitely missed this flick a little bit. Deshaun Jordan getting the tunes right. Yeah, the energy is always, always paramount with Deshaun. Such a positive person, always a smile on his face. Oh my God! No! Ooh. Now we know Deshaun has the tricks to get him there, but that's gonna put some pressure on him. 
Nigel, 9.1 on that second line score. I am so curious where he's going to take this. Well, if we know Niger, I think he's just going to go all the way. He's going to go for broke right here. Oh! Uh, Where do you think he was going? Uh, well, it's he's definitely flipping. I, don't, I couldn't tell if he was trying front 50 or front Smith. He missed this flick, but barely got a foot on there. That could have been real dangerous. Yeah. All right, Yuto Horigomi. He's got a 9.1 on that second line. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow. Well, that was in the vein of the Shane O'Neill just smoothness right there, wasn't it? Switch 360 kickflip. We saw that one in the prelims, and it got a high score. Here's another look, the visible replay. Beautiful execution of the Switch 360 flip. Lip rips it out forward. Done with that with very smooth, keeps his speed. That's the level of tricks that we need to see here in the single section. Nice visible replay. The most casual switch tray lip you'll ever see. 9.5. That is our highest scored trick of the day. That's a gnarly trick to get a 9.5. That is a trick that we have seen before, but do you do it that way? You do it so smooth, bolts like that? That's how you get the nine. The judges see you doing those tricks with absolute conviction. That's what they want to see. And that's how you get a nine, ladies and gentlemen. No surprise, Yuto Horigomi now at the top. Gustavo Ribeiro in next. Oh! There is so much going on with that trick. There's so much spinning and flipping. And Sean, talk us that, through that one. That one barely rotated around, too. Trey flip front board, almost landed Primo on the rail and just whipped it out to Fakie. Whoa, bounced off the front foot. Well, that's definitely one of the most technical tricks that we've seen on that bigger rail so far in the contest. 8.7 right there. You know, I, I do kind of agree with that scoring. We have seen that trick throughout the years before, and it, it's kind of became a standard in the Street League big section. Which is wild, but is true. It's just the progress, but progression of the league. It's just how it's gone. All right, Sora Shirai, attempt one. Oh! Wow! <laughs> well, there's the difference. I mean? There's the difference. That last trick, lots of spinning, lots of flipping. Didn't quite get the score he might have wanted, but that's the way to do it. A lot of spinning again. But that's not a trick that we see. No. Ever. So no one has ever seen that in this contest before. He winds up, cab back tail, big spin out, perfect. Wow. Where do you think the judges are going to go on this? That has to be it. definitely a nine. I don't know how high up the nine it's going to go. I mean, do you go. think that's comparable to the switch three flip lip? Are we talking nine five? Nine point six. Sora Shirai now in the top spot with an 18.8. Point two ahead of Yuto Horigomi. Talk us through this replay, Sean. That wind up, just perfect cab, right into a back tail, and then whipping it out. That rail's steep, it lands a little taller, and to be able to big spin out and keep your weight on top of your board, it's crazy. Sora's definitely bringing things that we've never seen before. That was the highest score we've seen so far at stop number one. But it's not over yet. Still far from over. Okay, moving in to attempt number two in the single tricks. Vincent Malou, currently down in fifth place, needs to get another score on the board. Oh! Going for that kick flip, front side tail slide. Got a huge pop into that flick. A little bit too much weight as he pushed down into the rail, though. It's going to put some pressure on Vincent. Next in, Shane O'Neill currently seated in fourth place. Oh. Ooh. Shane's going to get a zero on that one. Next in, Felipe Gustavo. 
fighting to get his first score on the board in the single trick section. Oh. Oh, man. Switch flipping into that right now. Just Proving getting tough. away from him a little bit. Uh, I've just stated a couple of times, Sean, that particular spot's getting away from a few people here and there. Yeah, it's just enough, just enough of a gap into that rail to make it a little awkward. Deshaun Jordan, we saw him fall on that three flip 50-50. Will he try it again? Oh, doesn't get the flick he's looking for. That's not a trick we see him usually bail like that with. I'm curious to see if he goes for it again or not. He is a vet at this point. He knows the deal. Nigel Houston looking to post a first single trick score. Needs a 9.8 for first place. Oh! Whoa. And he was close there. He locked in. Looks like he was going for the kickflip Smith. Locked in and then slipped out. I think he's being a victim of the, the big rail right there. Yeah, it's just that fat rail. It's so hard to lock in the Smiths and Feebles. It just is so easy for it to slip in the lip side, which happened to him right there. All right, Yuto Horigomi. Attempt number two, currently in second place. Oh! Now that's a difficult nolly back 780 to 50-50. Slipped out of the 50-50, hopefully he's okay. It's almost like the level is so high that people are missing out because they're going for broke. Here we go, Gustavo Ribeiro. Going for that 360 flip nose blunt slide, which we know he has on lockdown. If Sora can put something down right now, that is going to be a huge advantage moving forward. We have seen nobody make a second trick. grind backside Christmas grind why is it called the Christmas grind kind of looks like a back tail at first and then you get the little extra present of the switch front crook this trick is so so hard to do I've actually barely seen anybody ever do it on a round rail in general and to do it on the big section in Street League with all the pressure this might be Sora's day well, like Alex said, he sent shockwaves through the contest. Look at that, a nine even Sora now. 27.8, the only skater with three scores on the board. And he's got opportunity to continue to boost. Here's another look at that. There's that Christmas grind. And he comes out fakey too. Gets the nine club. Gnarly trick, gnarly trick. We don't always see guys come out fakey. They usually rip it back out forward. With two attempts under the belt right now, Sora Shirai leading the pack with three nines, compromising his score. We'll be back after this, though. Can he hang on? Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by Visible Mobile, single line, unlimited wireless, powered by Verizon. By Smirnoff Ice Smash, no filter, full flavor, Please drink responsibly. By G-Shock, the official watch of the SLS World Tour. And by True Skate. True control, true skill, true skate. Welcome back everyone to Jacksonville, Florida to hands down one of the heaviest finals I have ever seen at an SLS event. Now before we get back into skating, make sure you pull out your phone we want you to download the True Skate app today on the App Store or Google Play. This amazing course that we've got out here today in Jacksonville is coming soon. So, again, grab your phone, download it from the App Store or Google Play. Right now, our current standings, Sora Shirai in the top spot with a 27.8, a commanding lead, but we do not have three scores from anyone else. 
The top four are going to be moving on after two more attempts. Sora right now looking really good to do so. But we've got Yuto Horigome nipping at his heels. The most wild part about this right now, you are not winning this without a bucket full of nines. Next skater in, Vincent Malou for his third attempt. Oh, Vincent going for that front side kick, flip tail slide, pushes down again a little bit too much on it. Love seeing Vincent out here, but it's not happening today. Nice to see guys from all over the world though out here in the finals. Shane O'Neill from Australia. Okay. So Shane right now in fourth place. That's not going to do it there for Shane. Just a little too much shoe on that switch flip. It'll be interesting to see how he plays it on the next attempt, depending on what's happening in the leaderboard. All right, Felipe Gustavo looking to get his first score in the single tricks. He's got to put this down right now. He's got an 8.9 in line. He has potential. We know he's got the tricks to get him there. Oh, doesn't do it. Do you think that the pressure is getting everyone? Do you think seeing what Sora is doing is doing this to everybody? Absolutely. You know, Sora has just raised the bar so high that, you know, you can't get away with doing a trick that is under amazing, under incredible. Deshaun is not out. He's got a nine in the line. Can he put it down though right now? 9.7 for second and that will not do it. Unable to put it down. This is very unlike what we're used to seeing. Well, well, the level's getting that high, right? The level is getting that high, but nothing short of exceptional. It's All right, Nyjah has to put this down. Is he going for it again? Has to make that, and he doesn't, doesn't he slips do out it. again. So Nyjah right now down in sixth place. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. If Nyjah were to get a nine and things stay as they are, he has potential to get up into those top four, but that is really a tough position. He keeps just adding the pressure onto himself in there. He needs to make those heavy tricks that we've seen him do in the past. All right, Yuto Horigomi needs to get a score. Bringing some new heat. Brand new trick in SLS right there. Nolly back 780. Switch frontside Smith. Have we seen that before? We no, that's the first time we have seen it. So hard to aim that and to judge that. And look, his body keeps wanting to go when he lands and he just forces it to stay straight. Wow. That's a beautiful trick. Right there, got all the spin, all the awkward, difficult to lock down. That was mind blowing. And to do it right now when he needed it, so 9-1, 9-5, he needs a 9-3 for first. And a 9-5, Yuto Horigomi now in the top spot. 28.1, Sora Shirai. Now in second a place he's been unfamiliar with today in the finals. Let's have another look at that. Sean, talk to us about body positioning right there. So, you know, you have to wind up and nolly backside 180. Your body wants to keep turning, so to, to be able to jam it into the switch front Smith and stay back to switch is so hard. And you can see his body kept wanting to turn. He just forced it straight. Wow. Well, we got two guys that, from Japan bringing new tricks that we've not seen before. You two, if we've seen the last few years, new faces with Sora. Oh, man. How this do you follow is that final. up? All right, Gustavo Ribeiro, he needs something big. 9-6 Nine, nine, to get into first. Well, those are the level of tricks that we need to see. 
Do you think three flip nose grind is enough? Here's that visible replay. I think he did the 360 flip beautiful, but you looked the way he locked in, it was almost like a crooked grind. If he'd have balanced that, he'd have got more scores, but still nevertheless, a very, very technically difficult and precise trick that he did very cleanly. There's that visible replay. So it's up to the judges to take it from there. The judges have done a great job today. Let's see how they take this one. 9.3. We are rolling in nines in the finals right now. Here's another look at that. You can see he almost comes over to the other side of the rail. Clean foot placement. Brutally gnarly skateboarding right there. That was so well done. All right, Sora Shirai, look at this. He needs a 9.4 to get up into first place. Oh, this is a, this is a final. Oh! Yep, going for the Cavalier. It's taking it all the way over to Sugar Cane. That right there is the first moment we've seen a little bit of pressure on Sora, with the exception of his first drop-in. Okay, it all comes down to this last attempt right now. Looking at that spot, fourth place, Shane O'Neill with a 16. There is opportunity for some of these skaters to get in there. But those this is top where it all counts like right now, not. Andrew. This is where it all counts. This is the fourth single Vincent trick. Malou. Oh! He needs a point seven to get into fourth place. Uh, he's happy and thankful for that one. He came out, went into the trick really beautifully. Gets a nice catch, good big frontside flick. Rips it out fake. He almost loses it right there. I do think that was good strategy to kind of go away from the kickflip tail slide. Get the kickflip front lift, get into that top four, and hopefully you can have two more attempts. 7.5. That's got him up into fourth place. Shane O'Neill needs a seven. Where's he gonna go? Oh. Unable to do it on the switch flip back lift. Shane O'Neill eliminated from the top four. Legend, every skateboarder, legendary SLS pro. Not quite coming together on that little rail for Shane. Today. Now it's. It's looking like our final four are officially going to be set based off of numbers. I mean, you can't get higher than a 10. Yeah. Felipe Gustavo coming in for his last attempt. Oh, wheel bite. The wheel bite gets him. That gap trail is cursed. Yeah, it's playing hard for everybody right there. Raisa Leal took all the last bit of magic out of it earlier to win the women's. But let's not forget the pressure these guys are under right now. We're just seeing the progression being pushed. Oh! The Sean Jordan laser flip. That was stomped. The judges like to see tricks done like that, done really, really well. Now, we haven't seen from any of the guys in the last few tricks anyone take that traditional route of just going over the gap for their single trick, but that's the kind of tricks that you need to do across there to get those high scoring points. Love Deshaun, definitely a favorite among all the pros out there. It's awesome to see him just do the laser flip for the crowd. Scores in 8.8. .8. Deshaun in fifth. Nigel Houston. He's outside the top four. Oh, a place we're not used to seeing him, but man! Well, there's that Nigel right there. Switch front side heel flip. Tail slide to switch tail slide. Now he kind of needed that one trick before. Truly. So, there's that slow mo of another trick again that we really see due to the level of ability needed to even do that, especially down a round rail. Switch frontside heel, switch tail slide. 
for fifth place. He's Score at 8.8 8 and 9. 9-2, nine, but only good enough to get him into fifth place. Nyjah Houston will not be moving on to the Super Final. Look at this. We have our current top three still to go. Yuto Horigomi currently in the lead. His low score is a 9.5. Well, that is a tough position. Yuto looking like he's winding up, going for the nollie heel flip, no slide or crooked grind, but honestly, that was a bit of an interesting way to go right there. Looking at Sora's scores, He's got a 9.0 as his lowest in the single. So he's got a 0.5 that of opportunity within that between both Yuto and Sora. Next skater, Gustavo Ribeiro needs a 9.8 for first. And he doesn't get that 360 kickflip nose blunt slide. Gustavo though locked into our top four. He's gonna get two more attempts. So Sora Shirai, he needs a 9.4 to get in the top spot. Oh man, he is pulling out all the stops right there, going for that cab to Sugar King. Yeah, he knows that one will get him where he wants to go. He knows he's got it on lockdown. Now he's bailed it twice. That is going to do it before we get into the super final. We're dropping our bottom four. Right now, Yuto Horigomi in the lead with a 28.1. So these are our standings. Our top four are going to move on for two more attempts. We've got Vincent Malou just making his way in there. Gustavo Ribeiro with a 27.1. Sora Shirai, 27.8. Yuto Horigomi leading the pack with a 28.1. It is not over, though. With two more attempts left, we are going to find out who our winner will be here in Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Jacksonville, Florida. This is our first stop of the 2022 Street League Skateboarding Championship Tour. We are inside the ViStar Veterans Memorial Arena. And this has been hands down one of the most wild finals I've ever seen at an SLS stop. We are now about to kick off the super final. We have dropped the bottom four skaters and it's all about two more attempts. Now the win here today is not just about the win here today, because the road to the Super Crown, presented by Smirnoff Ice Smash, we've got three stops of the regular tour before we head to the Super Crown. That, we're gonna take the cumulative points, we're taking the top four, bringing them automatically qualified into the Super Crown, and then the rest of the field's gonna come down to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to try to fight it out for those bottom four spots. This right here are four finalists for the Super Final. We've got Vincent Milou coming from France, Gustavo Ribeiro out of Portugal, Sora Shirai from Japan, and Yuto Horigomi also from Japan. We've got skateboarders all over the world here today. Beautiful course. Guys, what is it going to take right now? I mean, we are seeing nines galore. I mean, what tricks are we looking to see, Sean? I mean, it, it's hard to say. I have no idea. I mean, it's going to take some things that we've never seen before. You know, these guys are averaging mid to low nines, it's so hard to win out here. Right now, Vincent Malou, lowest score, 7.5, looking to drop that. We'll see if he goes for the kick the front tail. Oh, nice. Yeah. Way to go, Vincent. After bailing that one a couple of times, that'll feel good. 
Vincent always coming with a good attitude, positive mental attitude, nice frontside kick, flip tail slide. Crowd was enjoying that. They like to see a skateboarder with a positive smile. And that's a heavy trick. That's a hard one to lock in on a round rail like that, especially over the bar. 8.3 for him. So he's moving up with his score, but it's still going to take a lot. Next skater in, Gustavo Ribeiro. Trying to drop an 8.7. He needs a 9.8 to get into first. Oh. Is a three flip nose blunt going to be enough? The only thing I can think of is it might take away that 8.7 to yeah. set him up for the next one, but now he's going to need to go really hard for the last trip. All right, Sora Shirai needs a 9.4. We've seen a 9.6 out of him and a 9. What else does he have up his sleeve? Oh, and you know, I think that trick for him, now he's tried it quite a few times, that cap to sugar cane. The angle on that's difficult for him. He has to carve in a little bit. I think that's messing with him. Yuto Horigomi right now in the top spot, his lowest score that he's trying to drop is a 9.5. Yuto going for gold right there. What was he attempting right there, do you think? I actually have no idea. That was honestly very uncharacteristic of Yuto from a trick perspective. Okay, this is it. This is our last attempts right now. Vincent Milou in fourth place. He cannot improve on that position, but he can improve upon the score. Lowest one to drop right now, an 8.3. Oh! That's a trick I've not really seen him do too much. That's a heavy one. Absolutely. Great showing from Vincent today. A lot of fans in the crowd that have watched this guy rip online on the social media. We'll be seeing him again. All right, Gustavo Ribeiro again needs a 9.8 to get into first. I mean, we're talking 360 flip, nose blunt, big spin. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Unable to do it. That means Gustavo will not improve, taking home third place. It comes down to both Japanese riders, Sora Shirai and Yuto Horigomi. The pressure is on Sora. He needs a 9.4. Can he do it right now? If not, it will be a victory lap for Yuto. It's all coming down to this. The crowd is screaming. Pressure's building. Yuto Horigomi is our winner here in Jacksonville, Florida. First stop back at SLS, and he takes gold. Wow. This is a victory lap. This is strictly for the crowd, for the skate fans here. And that is it, your winner here, 2022 Jacksonville, Florida. Champion, Yuto Horigomi. Well, that was a shocking level of skateboarding right there, wasn't it? Just when you thought you've seen enough, you've seen everything. And then it comes back and we see Street League pushing the level of those tricks again. There he is, your winner, Yuto Horigomi. We'll be back after this to hear from him. And this is your champion, Yuto Horigomi.
putting it down with tricks we have not seen in competition thus far. It was a tough battle between Yuto Horigomi and Sora Shirai. But in the end, Yuto outskated him. This is your final standings. Our top three, Gustavo Ribeiro in third place. In second, Sora Shirai. And in first place with a 28.1, Yuto Origomi. Jeff, what about the level in this top three today? I mean, look how fast it picked up too, Andrew. Each trick got heavier and heavier and heavier. And like we said at the start, we wanted to know what these guys were saving for that final moment. What tricks do they have that they're not shown to each other? And we just saw it. Unbelievable. Take it down to Alex White, who's with Yuto. I'm down here with the none other than Yuto Origomi, who just took the entire event. Yuto, what does it take to win Street League these days? Uh, like Street League means like my like dream contest, and then like uh, after Olympics, I didn't skate whole year the Street League, so I'm just back on Street League, and like I'm so happy to be back uh, Street League. That was such a battle. Can you tell us a little bit about the back and forth between you and Soda? Uh, it was like everyone's going crazy, like especially Soda. Like he's doing that cap back to a big spin. Like first trick is really incredible. Like I couldn't believe it. Like that's a really hard trick. Like, but also like everyone's going hard because everyone's new. Like going so hard. You know? So you're saying a second ago that you kind of know what everybody's bringing to this, but that contest was all nines. That final was so heavy. How did you think to bring those top scores to the last couple best trick attempts? Uh, like for like for winning, like need like high nine scores now, like <laughs> so like used to be like going like uh like save trick first, but like now it's like I just try to go really hard, you know, and like if I couldn't make it, I can't win. So like it's a really high level contest now. Well, that high level and that just going for it really paid off. Yuto, congratulations on taking the win. We're so excited to see you at the rest of the Street League season. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Thanks, Alex. You heard it from Yuto. You go for broke. I mean, what a professional, too. So well-spoken, positive, incredible skateboarder. Great to see him back at SLS. This right here, the A-Shock Reach Your Peak Moment, Sora Shirai. 9.6 on the cab back tail big spin. His first trick in the single trick section. That took everyone by surprise. We'll be right back after this.